What's good, folks? It's K Spade, the prospect, aka the big blue Chevy driver, and sometimes referred to as the YouTube Rookie of the Year. I'm bringing you guys some M Dub 3. Once again, I'm on mission with my favorite weapon, the P90X. And when I was playing this match, I kept thinking about Allen Iverson. I mean, I feel like AI this game. Not AI with the Nuggets, with Carmelo, Chauncey. Well, I don't know. Chauncey wasn't there. You know what I mean. But I feel like the AI with Philadelphia that, that had Eric Snow as the second scoring option. And I don't mean to bash on Eric Snow, but let's be honest. If you told Eric Snow to build a team and pick a second scoring option, he wouldn't pick his damn self to be the second scoring option. Sorry about that, Carter. I know you're a 76 er fan, but let's, let's be honest here. So look at my teammates. I got three guys right here guarding this corner. That would be great if it was a pot of gold sitting right here on this corner, but it's not. So I don't really understand that. First of all, I hate people that camp corners, whether they're on my team or the other team. And the only thing worse than corner campers is three of them on the same damn corner. I can't wrap my mind around the logic there. And um, I kept thinking the whole time I was playing this game, I, I, it's just amazing to me that I can't kill people with flashbangs or grenades. But it's okay. I got, I got a trick for them. Hold on. Uh, note to self, don't hide behind explosive truck. Anyway, let's get it going. But I kept thinking about that infamous interview when my boy was saying, not the game, not the game, not the game that I live for. We talking about practice. Are we talking about practice? And the whole point was somebody made the grand mistake of asking AI, do you feel like, you know, you can go to practice with your teammates and then make them better? And that sent him into a rage. He was like, how am I going to make my teammates better by me going to practice? And I thought about that because, you know, my clan was on. I could have easily been playing with my clan where we all fight for 15 kills apiece. And I was like, yo, I, I really want to run with some, some regular folks, some random guys who I know going to do dumb stuff like guard one corner. And, you know, so I can get me a 25, 30, 35 kill round. I, I have to get those every once in a while because they're just so fun. They're fulfilling, right? So I jump out here and I thought I was putting in work. I mean, I thought I was going in. So when the match was over, I looked at my scores and I said, damn, I should have got even more kills because I'm looking at my teammates' kills and I'm like, I got to learn the knife, y'all. I'm the worst knife for in COD history. And it's because I'm too logical. I look at it like this. This is a shooting game. I have a high power automatic submachine gun in my hand with extended mags. I got a boatload of bullets. I don't think the knife. Like when I see somebody go, ah, shoot him. And then next thing you know, I'm dead because he thinks the knife. And this sniper, he, he's either going to get a revenge kill or his ass is mine because I don't play that quick scope and shit. I really get pissed off when I get quick scope. And I don't even think he was aiming at me. He was aiming at the other kid. But at any rate, he's going to pay for it. I need your head. The funny thing about Modern Warfare 3, in any other COD, if you throw a grenade and get hit markers on it, you can almost always kill them with the flashbang. Now, I threw a grenade, hit marker. Threw a sec our first flashbang, hit marker, a second flashbang, five golden rings, three turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree, and I still had to shoot them. It's just crazy, y'all. And I, I still can't figure out flashbangs. If I throw a flashbang and I die, I watch the kill cam and it never affects them at all. But I can throw a flashbang around the corner and it'll blind the hell out of me. It'll blind me. I threw it around the corner and it blinds me. I hit the enemy in the face with it and it just barely hazes them. I don't know. Maybe I'm just complaining. But in all honesty, when COD 4 came out, I was such a COD fanatic. I would be at my place of employment like, yo, I cannot wait to get home and play COD 4. Like, I couldn't even concentrate on my job. I don't remember what I was doing work-wise when that game came out, but I would be like, uh, thank you, sir, for thinking here. Have a good day, and I'll see you on COD 4. He'd be like, huh? Like, COD 4 had me messed up, and no other COD has had me that way since. So I was having a debate with a guy because, in all honesty, like, to me, I haven't been good at any COD since COD 4. Now, and that's, you know, that's just me having a high standard for myself. But um, I was like, you know, I really feel like when they start taking stopping power out the game, Every card minus stopping power has just been ass to me. I'm sorry, y'all. That's just my honest opinion. This is my video, though, so I can be honest. If you can't be honest in your own video, then you need to go plank in traffic. So we was going back and forth, and he was saying, well, the problem with stopping power was it threw off the balance. 
And I'm like, it didn't. Because you could choose to go stop in power and kill people a little faster, or you could hide in plain sight. Let's be honest, y'all. Cold blooded, UAV jammer, ghost, assassin. They're just hiding in plain sight. You're there, but you're not there. So it was it was actually a trade-off. If you wanted to hide in plain sight, it took you a few more bullets to kill people. That was the sacrifice you had to make. But with Black Ops in this game here, everyone, look, y'all, everyone is assassin. I have a video that every time I die, except for one, one guy killed me with Hardline Pro. Every time I died, when I watched the kill cam, Assassin Pro. Every time. So for people who don't run around much, it doesn't bother them. But for my play style, it's truly my nemesis. I run by Assassin Pro guys every match. Every. But that's neither here nor there. I don't want to go off on that tangent. But I, I do want to close it with this. You cannot say that the problem with COD was everybody went stopping power. So I'm going to fix it by introducing a new perk that everybody's gonna use like you didn't you didn't fix it you just changed it that would be the equivalent to saying i'm gonna fix this community i'm gonna rid this community of marijuana by introducing crack like you didn't fix anything you just got them high on another bad drug so to me i, I don't like the fact that every time i turn around you can call in a, a advanced uav and get two red triangles it's just ridiculous but I promise you guys that I wouldn't come out here and just complain about this game, so I'm not going to do it. Let's get back into this commentary. At this point, I have learned on this map, not just this map, on any COD map, on any COD game, if you got a map with a high end and a low end, the high end is definitely the preferred end. You never want to be running up the hill into gunfire. I mean, if you think back to Modern Warfare 2, if you played on estate, if you spawned at the estate, it was perfect. If you spawn down the hill, you was about to get jacked up. So I like this spawn where we are now. And I have made up in my mind that the invisible line is right here on the edge of the street where the red gates are. You'll see what I'm talking about in a few. If you pass those red gates, you're going to flip them. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. This is the only map that I got the spawn system somewhat figured out in. So when you watch me play, I don't pass these red gates right here. I mean, I might get me a kill. And then I keep it moving. But this game is over so I can keep it, you know, I can run wherever I want to run. So it's funny how this match ends. I see this Betty here. So I'm waiting. I see this other red dot. So I said, let me go see, you know, what the deal is. And he never saw me. So I wanted to end the match with my Predator. But this hero want to come over here and save his homeboy after I kill him. Not when I'm sitting there on his stairs looking at the bouncing Betty. So I'd have much rather ended this with the prayer, but he didn't give me a choice. And that's all I got on this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, Game Face, I'm out, y'all. Peace.